Okay, so you have got uh, six lovely emojis to choose from in round one. Uh, what would you like? Um, what do we think? We have cake. Hedgehog. I love the hedgehog. You want the hedgehog? I mean, we'll have the hedgehog. Yeah. Hedgehog is yeah. fine. Uh, spiky boy to start. Um, you know how this works. We're in week three. Uh, so the earlier you get it, the more points you get. If it gets passed over to the other team, they can steal it for one. So you have it's, one minute from... Hang on, it's dropping down, sort of. Oh, no, ignore that. Don't worry. So you have one minute from now. 27 and 36. How do you know about that? Um, 36 is the last number, isn't it? And 27, maybe. I think, yeah, I think there is a 30. Um, it's divided by 9. Yeah, should yes, we yes. go next? Take the next I one. Think so, next, yeah. please. Okay, well, they are. Oh, um, no. Uh, it must be maybe the 17. Last minute. No, no. Can't see it. Um, no. Are there the any please? Are there the only prime numbers between 10 and 20? No. Sorry, go next, please. No, no, no. Next is 13. Oh, of course. Okay. Are they on either side of something? Are they on either side of 13, maybe? Well, how would that Ah, wait, and, and the 11, yeah, either side, that's it. <coughs> yeah. Um, these are things that are either side of 13. That is absolutely correct. So that would have been next. In Brilliant. The well and it's numbers, yeah, numbers yeah. either side of 13. So that is um, two points to the Cosmopolitans. Um, yes, so uh, different... Uh, British roulette wheels have 37 numbers because it goes 0 to 36, but an American one has 38 because they've got double zero. So that is my fluff for you today. Um, well done to Cosmopolitan. So, uh, lovely ladies, you've got five emojis to choose from. What would you like? Does anyone have any strong preferences? Um, let's have cake. Yeah, let's yeah, have cake. cake. Yeah, <laughs> it, feels, it feels right to have cake. We have cake. Um, Yes, you have one minute to find the sequence from now. Uh, certain V rockets. Okay. Um, five. It's not certain V. Maybe it's five. Five. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe so there, was, um, there was very big. Um, okay. Let's get the, let's get another one, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. White right, King's Bishop. I mean, it's on. It's on a chess board. That's about as much as I can tell you. E4, E5, E. Are there any certain places it can move? I, I don't know. It's where it's It'll be like it's like on A7 or no A6, A6 or something like that. Uh, okay, so we'll get another one and see. Yeah, these. that could be the name Maybe. of the, the um, yeah, yeah, it's next it as well. Yeah, five seconds left. Uh, um, it must be like on like a like a digit like F five or something, but yeah, is it an F key? I don't think the bishop's on an F. Mm. Uh, I'm F gonna. Oh yes, let's F F six. How about F? Let's go F six. That is incorrect. So I'm going to show the rest of the sequence to Cosmopolitans. And F1, um, F1, isn't it? F1, it has to be F1 now. Yeah, oh. of course, bishops. No, yeah, I yeah. suppose. Like, health key is F1. Has to be. Yeah. Key moderating is F1. Formula 1, F1. Yeah. 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 I can't think of anything yeah. else. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, let's say F1. That is correct. So, um, F1 is well the name of the um, most powerful single nozzle liquid fueled rocket engine ever developed. Uh, it boosted the Saturn V rocket off the launch pad and onto the moon during NASA's Apollo program during the 1960s and 1970s. F1 is the square on which the um, White oh, King's so bishop that. begins. Yeah, in yeah, I, was, I think I had it that <laughs> way around. <laughs> um, oh you had it exactly right. <laughs> just right. went yeah. wrong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and F1 and is the key, well, apparently. Well, yeah, F1 is the help key, apparently. I don't think I've ever used it for that reason, oh, right. to be honest. Okay. Um, and then Grand Prix. Um, nobody uses those anymore. I still use them. Mm. 
mean I use F5 a lot to refresh it. That's the only one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody knew that, but uh, obviously not. Okay, uh, Cosmopolitans, that is one to you for the steal. And you have four emojis to choose from. Emily, what do you think? Do we have the rainbow? Oh, let's have the rainbow. Mm -hmm. uh, lovely rainbow. Okay. Um, so you have one minute to find the sequence from now. There is no water. That's like a poem or... It's, it sounds like something out of Scarborough Fair or something. It's something like that, yeah, art Garfunkel. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we have, we've not got anything. Uh, no, I think we, we need to, yeah, can we have this? Next, yeah, fresh water you cannot drink. Hmm. Is it water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink? But that was hot water. No, no. Quackish. Um, um, is fresh water a place? Hmm, might be. Do we need to see another one? I think we need to see another one, yeah. Please, yes, next. Needles you cannot thread. Okay. Needles, Is it they? possible that these are places on the Isle of Wight? It could be, yes. It could well be. Could we yeah. get, we get uh, five seconds left. Uh, yeah. Okay, in that case, let's burn. <clears throat> are these places on the Isle of Wight? They are. We call them wonders wow. of the Isle of Wight, but I will accept general places. They're not wonders to most people. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, there are, these are four of the eight wonders of the Isle of Wight. Um, <laughs> commonly used in tourism, marketing, campaigns. I'm guessing just general eight areas. What do I have? So, yes, I have uh, Lake and Freshwater, both settlements on the Isle of Wight. Um, Wikipedia seems to suggest Lake is notable for being not far from a fairly sizable Morrisons, which is an impressive place to have. <laughs> and Freshwater was the birthplace of Robert Hooke of Ellicity mm -hmm. fame. And the remaining four wonders, if you care, are Rides, where you walk, Newport, you cannot bottle, Winkle Street, mm -hmm. where there are no Winkles, which is, doesn't really make sense, and Newtown, mm -hmm. which is very old. And that are the, those yeah. are the eight wonders of the Isle of Wight. So well done. That Gracing the tourist um, barrel, if you ask me. <laughs> they sound pretty <laughs> desperate. Um, so that is two points to Cosmopolitan. I'm going to reset things and I'm going to show the picker for lovely ladies. You've got three emojis left. Okay, shall we go for the fire, please? Okay. Fire, absolutely. Um, okay, so you have one minute to find the sequence from now. Oh, that could be anything. Not very good on the old Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah. yeah next film. one. Next one, please. Uh, thank you. Oh, you know, there's a few of those to choose from. Portraits, yeah. irises, sunflowers. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, let's get another one, please. Oh, post below here. Mm. But, well, they must have all have a name in common. Yeah, yeah. they must do. But yeah. what are they? Hmm. I have heard of Post Malone. I couldn't tell you a single. Yeah, one. we might have to get the last one. No. I think. Yeah, next one, please. Oh, some well, flowers. Yeah, some flowers. Yeah, it's so annoying. <laughs> There'll be some flower or some flowers. Well, he has. I oh, would well, that'll be singular, wouldn't it? So, uh, well, no, five seconds he left. Some flowers. Yeah. Some flowers. I'll accept. We've got sunflower, but I yeah, know what you mean. So annoying. Um, mm. yeah. So, uh, oh, the, shame we could have got it in Van Gogh, but never mind. Um, so, yeah, the sunflower knowledge is the Sophia Loren film was directed by Vittorio De Sica, um, who you might have been told about last week's fluff on the Tellini question. Um, and Sunflower was a 2018 hit for Post Malone featuring Sway Lee, apparently. I, I don't know that yeah. modern music either. Um, <laughs> so that is one point to lovely ladies for getting the Sunflower. And we're going to get rid of everything and we're going to bring back up the emojis for Cosmopolitan to pick um, from Ghost or the Unicorn. Yeah. Uh, unicorn, please. The Unicorn. Okay. Um, so this is a picture round, so as you know, you can hover over it to make it bigger. Um, you have one minute from now. Who these people are? I really don't know who they are no. at all. No, I think we'd best go next, please. 
point. That's All Saints. That is All Saints, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we, I think we're going to have to go for we'll third one. Another one. Yeah. 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 Next, please. That is Theresa May. Theresa May. Ah. Okay. Um. I think we might have to get the fourth one. If we yeah, I think so. Next, yeah. one. Yeah. Something like. Oh. Boxing. Right. Okay. Oh. Uh, they're all days. All Saints Day, Boxing Day, May Day. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely days. Um, Very good. Oh, so, yeah, that is fine. So, uh, any any guesses on what the first one might be? Uh, this is a band called Bastille. Oh, oh of yes. Um, and it's celebrated Bastille Day celebrated in France. Um, they're best known for their 2013 hit Pompeii and the 2018 single Happier. But yes, I don't know what they look like either until today. Um, and All Saints, as you identified, um, it's celebrated on the 1st of November. And the band All Saints had five number one hits in the UK between 1997 to 2000. And in the US, the band is best known for the top five single Never Ever. And May Day, who you would have just looking for, not Theresa Day, uh, is celebrated on the 1st of May and Boxing Day is Boxing Day. So that is um, one, two, Cosmos Collison. Well done. And uh, lovely ladies, I'm afraid you just have the spooky boy ghost left. So that is what we're giving you. Um, you have one minute to find the connection from now. Yeah. Oh, she, she didn't she win the um, uh, the skateboarding at, at oh, okay. All right, but she's in she's in bold for some reason. Okay, so oh yeah, okay. that's all right. No, yeah. you know that right. Um, Interesting. Mm. Should we get another one, please? Hmm. Next, please. Juventus is oh yeah. okay. This this is a different font. Um, yeah. Is that the first one? The second one's like gothic, isn't it? Yeah. Well, maybe that's what they use for. Yeah. Um, the, the, if we talk Juventus as in the team, it might be the font that they yeah. use. Yeah. For... Right. I think we're going to have to go. Wait, another one, please. Mm -hmm. That's very Times New Roman, but I mean, maybe they yeah. use it yet. Yeah. Next, please. Mm -hmm. Anything? Um, <laughs> ladies, ladies, they're all known as ladies. Pink with lady, that colour, lady, old lady, the, the pink lady, the grey lady. Yeah. yeah, well done. Yeah, absolutely. Well um, done, so, so good, <laughs> good grab. Uh, I think you've named them all for me, but yes, we wanted uh, black lady, old lady, grey lady, and pink lady. So uh, the black lady. Um, oh, Apologies for my pronunciation, everyone. Uh, Chiabusa Tsukino is a character in the manga series Sailor, Mo Sailor Moon, who oh, grows up to be the black lady. Um, Juventus is nicknamed the old lady, and the New York, New York Times is nicknamed the grey lady. And uh, this is probably the one that kind of got it for people. Uh, gin, egg whites, and grenadine are the primary ingredients of a pink lady cocktail. So that's more my level of uh, knowledge. Um, so that is one two lovely ladies uh, a very good last minute steal there oh, and that brings us to the end of round one um so that's six to cosmopolitans and two to lovely ladies um we move into round two where uh cosmopolitans get to choose the first emoji um lydia um, ghost please hey ghost so um, you have one minute to find the um, last one in the sequence. Um, that one minute will start from now. That's interesting. So is that like, is that Roger? Yeah, that could be. Roger, Roger, yeah. yeah. The next okay, um, we go for next to see where we're going. Yeah, next please. Yeah, next please. Ooh. Meadow cat's tail. Um, that could be any kind of, that could be like. Um, Campus 
Pierce. Pierce. Oh, oh. Uh, Pierce Brosnan, Roger Moore. Yes. So, so it'd be Roger, Missy, Pierce, Daniel. the next one, Daniel. Um, so Book of the Bible? Yeah. <coughs> Uh, book of the Bible. Yep. So we've got biblical prophet and lion whisperer. So that is absolutely it's the first names of successive James Bond actors. So um, we have Roger Moore, Timothy Dalton, Pierce Brosnan, and Daniel Craig. Um, and yeah, I can I can give you some Bond fluff. So Roger Moore was Bond seven times uh, between 1973 to 1989. Um, Sorry, it's not 1989, it's 1985. Dalton then took over in uh, The Living Daylights in 1987. Um, and he did two films. And Brosnan's first film was Golden Eye in 1995. And his fourth and final film was Die Another Day. And then Daniel Craig has played Bond ever since. And No Time to Die should be his last one, but who knows? Mm -hmm. um, so we will see. Um, Even though so, you've told me that, I will never remember that. It's <laughs> one of the things I will never. Remember. All these Bond, so many Bond films, <laughs> too many Bond films. Um, <laughs> lovely ladies, which emoji would you like? Okay, can we have head drop, please? Spiky boy. So uh, this is a image question, so do hover over to make it bigger. And you have one minute to find the last one in the sequence from now. Okay, I don't know if sailor, Pacific sailor or anchor Anchor boy. <laughs> so it's um, like maybe like a logo or something, but I don't know. Um, next one, please. Orange. 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 Sailor orange, anchor orange. Mm. No. A different type of orange or something. Um, right. Evil. Evil can, yeah. yeah. Um, it might be navel, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Right. So is it like navel, 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 navel? No, that wouldn't work. Um, yeah. Not okay. Uh, yeah. Next one. Next one, please. That's Rufus Hound. Yeah, Rufus Hound. Hound. Rufus. Five seconds left. Uh, <coughs> Blue, orange. There's. I mean. Uh, any oh, any game for me? I don't know, <laughs> hound dog, but yes, yeah, so let's go for a dog. Um, it is not a dog, so I'm going to throw that over to Cosmopolitan. It's something to do with a conqueror, somebody sort of conquering something, because it's the Williams. Will you say the Williams? William oh Harris, right. Rufus, so, oh yes. So, so perhaps well then, yeah. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry, I've got rid of everything there. Apologies. Yeah. It is nicknames of King Williams in reverse order. So we had, I got the reveal, we've lost the pictures, apologies. So we had Sailor, Orange, Rufus William the Hound, and as Emily said, the Conqueror. So yeah. that is absolutely well correct yeah. for yeah. one point, the Cosmopolitan. Um, and that brings us back to you, Cosmopolitans, to choose the next emoji. Emily? Cake. 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 Okay, so you have one minute from, uh, well, shortly, one minute to find the final one in the sequence. Oh, that's four is a feast for crows. Okay, so, so we're one. probably good. A G O T would be a game of stuff. yeah. I'm I, yeah. It's not going to go five six seven, is it? No, it's, it's going to be yeah. Do you want to buzz it? Hang on, it could go five six seven. No, it's not going to go, is it? I trust you. Can we go for another one, just to be sure. Yeah. I'm not sure if I could identify whether it's three or five. If we if we have another one, um, should we just take a risk? Should we just go for it? If it's the other yeah. way around, we'll just. <clears throat> Um, one A G of T. Absolutely correct. So oh, it is books oh, in the Song of Ice and well Water. Okay, well done. In reverse order, because as we will see, so three. Yes, I'm going to need to bring well them. Uh, two. Uh, sorry, three is a Storm of Swords. Three is a Clash of Kings, and as you correctly said, uh, one is a Game of Thrones. Um. 
So these are the first four books in the series. Um, the fifth novel, do you know? And it's this, it's like a two-parter. I can't remember. It's the Shadows. It's A Dance with Dragons is the oh, fifth one. It. And yeah. the still uncompleted sixth and seventh novels will be entitled The Winds of Winter and A Dream of Spring, but nobody knows when those are coming along. So uh, that is that. And that is a very good five points for Cosmopolitan's there. Yeah. Um, lovely ladies, you've got three emojis to choose from. Should we go for rainbow? Yeah, rainbow, please. Rainbow. Okay. So you have one minute uh, from shortly to find the secrets. So you have one minute from now. Apparently, no, it's not. Eight hours, 43 minutes, 38 seconds. Yeah. Is it like a time? Or, yeah, it looks quite yeah. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, shall we go the next one, please? Is it like when all of the hands meet up together on a clock or something? Yeah, uh, wouldn't be. I would say 9.49.05. So then you'd have 10 and then you'd have 11. So it'd be like yeah. 11, 59, 59 or something. Yeah, have a go. Go on, have a go. <laughs> hey, let's try 11, 59, 59. Can you say what the um, connection is? What do you think when the like the hands of the clock are kind of on top of each other, going up, going up by the the kind of time, by the hour digit. I am going to accept, <laughs> and I will explain why. So the next was one, ten fifty four thirty three, and then we actually wanted, but you're so close. We wanted midday. That's when everything. <laughs> is all three so you've got your, your your second hand and everything on there um so yes that's why i was checking what you were what your reasoning was and it's not but you're kind of a second out if you were much further out i would have probably been much harsher um <laughs> thank you but you've got me in a good mood today so um that is three points to the um lovely ladies on that one have i got anything else um, so yeah, do you know how many times the hands on the clock overlap per day? Do you care? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have thought 11, 11 or 12. Uh, yeah. 11, I'd say. It's kind of nearby, so you, the clock goes around, you know, 24 hour clock, so 11, yes, but then it goes around again, so it's actually 22. Mm. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Um, there we go. I, I hopefully don't have any more clock facts for you. For the rest of the day. Um, cosmopolitans, would you like the unicorn or fire? Amy, oh, let's, let's have the unicorn, please. Have the unicorn. Okay. So you have one minute to find the last in the sequence from now. Me. That could be anything. It could be, could be a note. It could be a, yeah. yeah. Next. Yeah. Oh, it's going to have some kind of suffix at the end, isn't it? Um, or something. It's a big, yeah. something like the beginning of a word. Um, okay. We're going to have to go next. Okay. Yeah, next. Week. Give some time to think about it. Oh, yeah. that Pleistocene. Oh, is it a, a Miocene, Pliocene, Pleistocene? The question is, what's next? What comes next? Um, Something else ending with scene. Yeah, I genuinely, it's going to be something with a scene at the end. Anthropocene? Or O scene. Yeah, so anthrop. Anthropo. Yeah, anthrop. Same one I know. The end. Yeah, should we go for it? Go for that. <laughs> anthrop. That is incorrect. So I'm going to send that over to lovely ladies. Uh, the only one I is, is there's an EO scene, isn't there? So it would be just EO, EO. Okay. Uh, but I don't know whether that's yeah. 
Well, I guess, yeah, try. The only other microphone I can think was the one they said, so. A bit later, I think. Okay, so <laughs> say EO. EO. Yeah. E E E O scene. That is also incorrect. So I was looking for um, Hong. Oh, oh, I forgot yeah. all about Hong. Oh, mm. So you were on absolutely the right lines. It's Ocene epochs towards the present, but you didn't give me the one I wanted. I'm sorry. Um, so, um, yeah. So some geologists have proposed that we've now entered a new epoch, which is the Anthropocene. But because it's not fully accepted, I was only looking for Holocene. So that's, that's fine. Um, do, you, do you know your my, do you know your Ocene, e, Ocene epochs? Perhaps? Another thing, but it doesn't matter how many times oh. you tell me. I yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> I even have There's a, a lot. Of uh, and yeah. It's all the time, and it still doesn't stick. No, it's yeah. there's lots of things that happened millions of years ago, and you have to try and remember which order they came in, basically. So <laughs> I'm not going to give you all of this fluff. Um, but it is very interesting if that's your sort. Yeah, why can't we just move on? It was ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was before my time. Exactly. <laughs> um, and lovely lady, that leaves you with lovely fire. So I'm going to give you lovely fire. Um, you have one minute to find the um, sequence or the end of the sequence from now. Between has a surname, I would say. Yeah, if it was beauty, I'd have a Y. But, um, um, All right, let's get the next one, please. Oh, as in, as in, as in one of the boxing Klitschko's. Hmm. So is it going to be Fury or is it going to be Joshua? Oh, which is more recent. Joshua's got most of them at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Well, why not? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go for something? I mean, I literally don't know what this is. Yeah, no, well, I'm happy to go with that. Um, so, do you want to, would you rather risk it so we try and get some more points or go for another one and then have a bit more info? Uh, um, well, I don't know. What do you want? What should we go for? Should we just go for it? Because you seem yeah, quite yeah. sure. So, yeah. Okay. Five seconds left. <laughs> Thank Joshua. That is incorrect so oh. that goes over to the uh cosmopolitan and i will show you what was next in the sequence Ooh, awesome. oh. Ooh. Oh. yeah i think we're looking for his first name so there's two boxes in there one's vladimir and one's somebody else yeah yeah still one um, um unless unless it's whichever one was also a politician but i don't yeah, know what his name is something yeah. like oh could it be like oh no um no no i don't i don't think i've got anything that's going to work yeah, yeah. You know, who, do you know who butorin is or what butorin is no um, and do you have I, anything for me we've got nothing i think honestly okay that is fine um i'm going to show you the the fourth one and see if that triggers something Vital signs, yeah, 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 yeah. Vitaly. Uh, if I'd remembered Vitaly, I'd, I was thinking vital signs, but never mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's one of those weird ones, as people yes, describe them. So it is, uh, <laughs> it is um, Vitalik Buterin, who is a Russian born Canadian programmer who co founded the Ethereum cryptocurrency. Um, Vitaly Klitschko is a former heavyweight boxing champion, sorry, boxing world champion and current mayor of Kiev. And um, yeah, our did, example. Did the one that was, sorry, was see the one that was married to Hayden Panettiere? I think yeah. that's the other one. Was that the other oh, one? No, right. no, it's not that one. I was sure one. this was Vladimir. Yeah. I thought this was mm. Vladimir. Ah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think yeah. Vladimir is the one that I seem to know. And then uh, our yeah. example is Vita Sackville West. Um, English author, lover of Virginia Woolf, who's thought to be the inspiration for the central character of Wolf's Orlando. But of course, we would have accepted anything, including PS Vita. Um, and I'm trying to think of anything else. I don't know, Dolce like Vita, Dolce. something like, uh, something <laughs> like that. Uh, anything Vita based. So yeah, that goes to zero. And that is the end of round two. So Cosmopolitans are on 14 and Lovely Ladies are on five. Um, just so you get the full three minutes. So you will see the grid in three, two, one. 
Okay. Perhaps I just need to, uh, okay. Okay, uh, so we'll see, see Grinch is green. Um, sorry, you carry on, guys. Yeah, okay. sorry, right. So we've got, uh, there's obviously Grinch, we have, um, was that Dr. Zeus? Um, I can't see green. any physical in retail, retail, physical exercise. Denounce, denounce has ounce in it. Oh, ther therapy, speech therapy, retail therapy. Oh, lovely. Physical therapy and exposure. exposure. Or gene uh, okay. therapy. Gene therapy is a thing. Okay. Try yeah. that with tree. Yeah, try that with speech. Okay, try retail and speech. No. Um, I, I still can't uh, see anything. Is there, a, so, is there such a thing as comfort therapy? Probably uh, one of these are Therapy. Pet. Yeah, group therapy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think okay. we're on the right track with therapy, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to need to. There we go. There we go. Got it. Billy Union promises uh, Grinch, Deontay, Jean, Simile, Van, Denounce, Comfort, Exposure, and Thornton. So. Mm. Um, so we, we we do we break promises? We keep promises um Reach maybe it's a name of an album or a book so that's got mile that's got ounce uh that's got yeah, time, yeah, that's yeah. got inch well done well done uh so we really billy all... and jean i think those are both characters in um chicago but i'm not sure about any of the yes. others um no no i can't jean in chicago i think maybe no, no, you're right i mean there is a billy and there's a jean but um I can't really fan fan um, union breaking breaking the union breaking promises. Yeah. I mean I'm not sure but I'm just gonna kind of click one oh, that yeah, look like they're right together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh so mm. uh that is that solved. Well done. Um okay, so I'm gonna ask you for what the grid groups are. So for Beth I will read them out. So we've got <laughs> we've got physical group retail and speech. Or tax of therapy. Tax of therapy. Yeah. yeah, that is absolutely correct. Uh, okay. I'm just keeping track. And we've got, sorry, simile, denounce, Thornton, and Grinch. They all have imperial measures at the end of them. Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. And we have union promises, comfort, and exposure. Mm. This doesn't look like a break one, does it? I wonder if they're like albums or something. Uh, that seems more likely. Yeah, yeah but I don't know. Over? 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 Overexposure? Over, yeah. Let's yeah, really go with mm. over. I think that's probably the only... I don't think we've got anything else, really. Um, no. That is incorrect. So I was looking for can be preceded by cardinal direction. Northern exposure, so southern comfort. Oh, eastern yeah, comfort, western, western Union. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Um, and the final group. Um, so we've got Billy, Deontay, Jean, and Van. Wilders. They are absolutely wilders. So yes. Nice. Um, so that is um, seven on the grid. Okay, that felt like that was going um, a lot worse. <laughs> you will see the grid in three, two, one. Okay. Um, what Wilder? Deontay Wilder, Billy Wilder, Van Wilder, Wilder Thornton Wilder. Wilder, Wilder try that, yeah, yeah. And Jean Wilder, sadly. Jean Wilder, yes, yes, okay. I suspect Deontay isn't going to be anything else. No. Uh, okay. 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 Um, Okay, so um, uh, 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 okay, simile, Thornton, Grinch, and Denounce all end with imperial measures. Yes, they do. But okay, so now <laughs> he goes, unfortunately. 
final clue in this subject. <coughs> Buzzwell Politans. Dunbar. That is correct. Lovely Adrian Dunbar. Okay. Your second subject is um, 24 dot dot dot. So that is the theme. And um, your first clue goes up now. Cosmopolitans. Hours in a day. That is correct. And your second clue. And that is time. Um, it was 24 in three right. bytes. And your third clue. Uh, time. Um, it's twenty-four books in the uh, Iliad. Got it. Books in there. It was full. <laughs> <laughs> and the final clue in this subject. Lovely ladies. Owls from Tulsa. That is correct. I had to make an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the end of the 24 round. We Next round is um, famous architects and one of their works. So you have 10 seconds. This is your first clue. <clears throat> Cosmopolitans. Oh, my God. And Antonio Guy from Gaudi and Pagrada Familia. Uh, oh, that is not correct. Um, I'm going to pass it over. Can you, sorry, can you repeat what you said, Amy? Antonio Gaudi and Sagrada Familia. Yes, yeah, that is not correct. So that goes over. Mm -hmm. They wanted to go over. Anton Gaudi and Sagrada Familia? No, I'm very cruel. It's Anthony Gaudi and oh, Sagrada Familia. Oh, uh, it's, yeah. it's a Catalan name. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Catalan name. Okay. Right, okay. Your second clue. <coughs> Liz, uh, sorry, Cosmopolitan. Needless in the Labyrinth. That is correct. And your third clue. Uh, that is time. It is um, oh, e Eero, yeah. Sarian, and the Great Great oh, Art. Okay. That's a good um, one. And the fourth clue. <coughs> oh, sorry, it's going to reset. There we go, the fourth clue. And that is time. <coughs> It is I am Pay and the Right, okay, so you have 10 seconds. Um, so it's movie titles with the title characters replaced by the actors playing them. You have 10 seconds. <coughs> Cosmopolitan. Renee Zellweger's Diary. That is correct. Um, your second clue. <coughs> Cosmopolitans. Matthew Broderick's Day Off. Correct. And your third clue. <coughs> that is time. <coughs> it is inside Oscar Isaac. Mm -hmm. And the final clue in the game. And that is time. Robert Redford. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Robert Redford. <laughs> All oh, I want is uh, <laughs> oh, Yeah. Oh, I know what the name. I know who this actor is, but I can't get any further. I was thinking <laughs> plain woman and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Paul Newman. Oh, 
oh. the same was the same in context. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that um, brings us to the end of the game and the end of the round. That was eight for Cosmopolitan, bringing oh, them to 29, oh. and one to lovely ladies bringing them to <laughs> well, 30. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a tough game this week. Um, so well done, everyone, and thank you. It's been a lot well of fun, done, everybody. Uh, well done. All the well best done. in future weeks as well. Um, I'm sure I'll see you around yeah, for this and other thank things. You. So, yeah, thanks, everyone. And thanks, Janine. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Right. Thanks, everyone. I will let you enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will see you all very soon. Bye. 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 Bye